Work smarter, not harder. We like to measure our value based on how long it takes to do something, but it, wouldn't it be great to do things quicker and ditch all the wasted time? That's what this video is all about, as we're talking about macros that can speed up your workflow. What are macros? Macros are sequences of commands that you can condense down into a single button press. They're commonly used in Microsoft Excel to run complex actions repeatedly. It's automation for the busy worker. You record your mouse clicks and keystrokes, then you can make minor adjustments such as timing changes, and this is great for things like applying large-scale formatting. Macros are most commonly set up on a keyboard since there's so many keys and key combinations to choose from, but mice can also have macros. Many gaming and productivity mice have at least two side buttons, mapped to forward and backward by default, that can be specifically programmed. How to set up macros. Unfortunately, mainstream editing software doesn't include a lot of ways to save macros. However, you will have some access to keyboard shortcuts, which are like a simplified version of macros. Obviously, keyboard shortcuts like copy and paste are automatic on computers, but software like Adobe Premiere Pro have a lot of built-in shortcuts. In Premiere Pro, you can click Edit, then Keyboard Shortcuts to see a map of your keyboard with all of the preset shortcuts. You can also add a new keyboard shortcut for certain functions and determine which shortcuts are active in which panel. Program-wide shortcuts can be overridden if you're in a certain panel. For example, the G key is normally the shortcut for audio gain, but if you're active in the capture panel, it's the shortcut for record. These keyboard shortcuts are not particularly complex. You can't automate complex tasks and instead can only work with the preset Premiere Pro shortcuts. For setting up more complicated macros with multiple keystrokes and clicks, you will need additional software. But even when setting up macros, it's important to remember that most software doesn't memorize mouse movement or exactly where you clicked. You may need to remember the keyboard shortcuts for certain actions rather than relying on clicking or dragging the mouse. Keyboard and mouse software. If you have a keyboard specifically designed for gaming or productivity, you may have access to software that includes the ability to easily create macros. Your keyboard may even have dedicated keys devoted to macros, so you don't have to come up with a complex combination of pressing three or four keys at once. One example is Razer, a brand that makes gaming keyboards. Their Razer Synapse software controls things like the backlight color and animation, but also allows for the creation of macros. Just like in Excel, you're able to record a series of keystrokes and clicks. You can then edit timings and fix any mistakes you made along the way. The same works in other peripheral software for brands like Logitech, Corsair, and more. Third-party macro software. If you don't have dedicated software for your keyboard and mouse, you can download some third-party software like Macro Recorder. Unlike some of the brand-specific software, this software records mouse movement and scroll wheel actions as well as button presses. This does require you to be very precise, but Macro Recorder lets you adjust mouse movement after the fact for the most accurate macros. This software is totally free and works with any hardware. Here are a few ideas for macros that you can use in video editing to help speed up the process. Delete gaps between clips. If you've run through a long clip and cut out the parts you don't want to use, you'll end up with a sequence with a lot of gaps. In order to delete those, you would need to select each gap and delete the gaps one by one. It's a great task to make a macro for. Here is the sequence of button presses. You'll need to run this command for each gap, of course, but that's still one button press instead of three button presses and or clicks. Easy speed change. If you find yourself frequently adjusting the speed of clips to a certain amount, you can easily make macros that automate that process. For this to work, you will first need to select the clip you want to change the speed of. If you'd like to make the editing process a bit smoother, there are a few additional steps you can add. Set in and out points. This macro is simple. You're just setting in and out points of the clips in your project panel. After selecting clips this way, you can utilize I and O to create in and out points easily, then period to insert the clip into the timeline. This lets you easily get a rough timeline with the clip selections you want to use while cutting out all the junk at the beginning and the end. If you want to continue using keyboard shortcuts to create precise in and out points, you can use J, play backward, K, pause, and L, play forward, which are all next to each other on the keyboard. Built-in hotkeys. Premiere Pro has a lot of hotkeys built in, and their existence allows for these macros to function without mouse movements. If you're trying to do something a little more simple, you should check through Premiere's keyboard shortcuts. You can edit which key activates the command as well. Obviously, these hotkeys will vary from program to program, so check your editor's hotkeys and shortcut settings to adapt these macros to different programs. 
We hope that you learned a lot about the speed and power of macros and got some ideas for making some of your own. Macros can really speed up the boring and tedious parts of editing with a little memorization and muscle memory. Let us know in the comments below if you use any macros or if any of the ideas we mentioned here are going straight into your workflow. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.